What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan, coming with another video. And what I want to talk today about is the WAC 100 situation. And this is the reason why, with the situation that he's going through, this is the reason why I really don't like trusting people at all. Family members and just friends here and there. And people know me that I'm so, so much like, uh, I like be by myself, a loner type stuff, even though I know that's not a good situation. But people like WAC 100, the whole situation with Big U, everything is a situation that you can look at and be like, damn, you can't trust nobody because one, one day, one day they can just use something against you. I don't know what Nipsey Hussle was going through at that time, if he has video. Um, those are supposed to be people which in the music industry, you don't know who's what, who's who and who you can trust and stuff like that. Um, and Big U been all over, all over the internet, just bashing people, talking about people. He's a good liar that I know of. He just looks like he's been just lying and lying about uh, certain situations and things that's going on. Um, that whole situation about him talking about uh, 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 Gilly and Wallow and, and uh, K Slay and Big U, that whole situation is just crazy. Adam 22, how he's pressing them. I don't know the whole situation. Um, WAC 100 just seemed like a person who just, who's a grimy person, who somebody you can't trust. Um, and this is probably not the first time he did that shit. So this would be a good learning lesson for people who want to go to prison. People in prison are just like him. He's been in prison, so you'll find somebody you like him. Um, somebody who you can't trust or like him. Um, and it's just something that you have to be aware of. If you're in the music industry, if you're a rapper, um, people like him are people who just steal and take and take, just animals, you know, just a, a, a animal, an animal. And being right or wrong, I don't know why you go to a, be on the phone and talk to somebody like Hassan Campbell, just let him know in all this information. And he thinks that it's, it's cool, that it's, it's okay and stuff like that. And it's, it's crazy. This music industry is just wild. <laughs> you got people like him who just take and take and take. They're just bloodsuckers of America. And then when it comes to these people, you know, like him, these rappers and stuff like that, say, oh, we got to be, uh, uh, you, we got to unite and this that, like that and stuff like that. You can just tell by him that you can't trust people at all. At all, you can't trust them because then stuff like that starts happening where they, they extort you. Because um, it's weird that you haven't really heard from Lauren London. Um, you haven't even learned, uh, heard from um, Black Sam, which is Nipsey Hussle's brother. Um, now, they're being um, um, robbed too. It's, it's, it's crazy, you know? Um, these, these people, and they're older people in their four, late 40s and their 50s. If they're supposed to be the type of people who you're supposed to learn game from, but the only game that they're teaching you is how to rob somebody and how to do wrong to your own people. That's the only situation that they're, they're doing is robbing people and, and getting the information and just and just stealing from people. They, they, they get the, the blueprint from the same people who robbed them earlier. They grab the blueprint and start robbing other people. And that's what it's been like that when it comes to Puffy, when it comes to all these rappers, it's a business. You got to understand it's a business. You're a commodity. Instead of being a, um, yo, we, I'm going to teach you the game. What they do is they, 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 they take advantage of your ignorance. And then when you don't know something later on in the years, they're, they're going to be like, well, you should have read the contract. Imagine you being 15, 16, 17, young, don't have money. And somebody comes up to you, yo, I, I, you're good. You, you can use your skill. Let's do this. And not teach you, they just take from you. They, they, they take your ignorance and they, they use it against you. And then you go online and they be like, oh, another rapper robbed. And then you got the people who come on the comments, oh, he should have read this, he should have read that. But what you gotta understand is when you're broke um, and you don't read and you don't study, which you should be, you, you should take some responsibility. But these people, like, let's say, let's say uh, Puffy, for example, 
how many people he robbed. And then he, he come with this black excellence. I'm doing this. He's only black excellence for himself. Not for the people that he robbed. Not for the, for the, the, the biggies and the, um, and the, um, uh, all the, you know, all the people that was underneath him. It, it's catching, I can't even remember. Black Rob, you know, um, uh, Styles P, the locks and them and stuff like that. When he takes, um, you read the contract and you're like, oh, you're not, you're taking more than I'm receiving. And that's how the music industry is. They take, they take more than they, they, they give, you know, they take and take. So they, you're not receiving anything, but they get all the benefits. So they're the smartest businessmen. And then later on the line when you're broke, he's ignorant. He, he didn't know what he was doing. He, he saw he should have been on his, on, on his business tip. But most people don't study business. Most people don't understand what it takes to be in business and stuff like that. And people would take advantage of that. You see it every day when you go work a nine to five. And, and I'm not, there's people out there who hate people who work a nine to five. I don't see nothing wrong with somebody working a nine to five. If that's what you want to do in life, then that's what you want to do. It's so much opportunities now, but it's just sad when these black um, uh, executives, these black businessmen, they take advantage of the same people they say they're helping out. Well, he didn't know. Um, it, I, I put it in the same thing as um, Nike. You know, they, they go get their goods from China and stuff like that, and they pay people $3 an hour, whatever they pay them. But what you got to understand is, I think that's... Some of them people, that's the most they will ever make if they weren't working at Nike. So their ignorance too have them working for Nike. The same thing in these record labels. The ignorance will have them working for Bad Boy. The ignorance will have them working for Def Jam. And then the, the older you get and the smarter you get, you'll be like, oh shit, okay, okay. That's when you go to classes, you go to school, you go to different levels, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Some of these people don't even graduate different positions. You know, it's a small percentage of people, of rappers, who really make it. So imagine how much people are getting robbed. How many people who didn't come out because they got robbed and, 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 and stolen from. They got stolen from as far as uh, money and stuff like that. So don't listen to these rappers. Don't listen to this fake. Um, if you even listen to DJ Academics, you can even, he even says that most of these rappers don't have the money that they have. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of these people would give their life for a Lambo. They'll give their life for a piece of chain. And, and that's a sad part, but what you gotta understand is these people would take that ignorance and just completely take you out, completely take you out. And then when you're broke and have nothing going down the road, well, you shouldn't learn your business and you shouldn't be ignorant. That's what the excuses that they use. You see it in Bad Boy, you see it in, in um, Death Row, you see it everywhere you go, somebody's getting robbed. You feel me? So I just wanted to make a, a quick video about Wack 100, I don't know him, I, I, I'll never, they, that, that politics in the West Coast is way different. People can talk noise online, but 99% of the time you won't go to the West Coast and talk that noise to them. I just won't hang around with people like him. <laughs> I won't be around him. You can, you can just smell the shadiness of anybody around over there. Because when it comes to gangs and stuff like that and their um, politics, they, they, they would just suck. They blood suck the stuff out of you. You can be mad at me all you want, but everywhere you go, gang members either die, go to prison, or snitch. Either one. So if you want to be a gangster, that's your, per that's, that's your preference. But at the end of the day, don't let them glorify that bullshit lie because at the end of the day, they, they will use your ignorance against you. And I just wanted to make this quick video real quick. Don't trust people. If you're, in the, if you, you, you're becoming a rapper, you have all, everything on YouTube, online, how to do step by step. You got the rapper Russ. Go listen to the, go watch interview some Russ. He'll, he'll teach you step by step on how to get your music out there. And then once you find somebody who, once you learn the game, then you can hire people and then, then you can watch what they're doing. But don't be the person who learn, who, who's not learning while they're in the game. Some people want, some people want other people to do the work for them so they're going to get paid. But if you're in, if you're in the rap game, learn step by step while you're in it, make the music. Don't get shit away until you understand the music business because they will eat you alive. You'll be a crab in the barrel and then other people will just take you down and you're producing, you're making stuff and they'll just take. Somebody will just reach in the bucket and take, take and leave you in the bucket, crawling with the animals and stuff like that. So don't become that crab in the bucket because you're not supposed to be in the bucket. You're supposed to be in the ocean eating and stuff like that. So that crab in the barrel mentality, they'll keep you in the barrel and they'll take. And there's going to be somebody who looks like you that's going to do it. 
99.9% of the time, somebody who's going to rob you, somebody who's going to do you wrong, and somebody that's close to you, and somebody who's, who you think got the best for you and they don't. The only person who got the best for you is yourself. Remember, the only person who got the best for you is yourself. So learn the game, learn the business, and don't get scammed by all these whack 100s. And also, I respect people like Big U, but he was robbing people too, I, in my opinion. So I won't mess with none of them. <laughs> they come to me with a proposal? No. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's like a small percentage of people that I can trust. Very, very small. Because they'll be the first one talking to your girl. They'll be the first one in the DM. They'll be the first one once you're gone and stuff like that. So don't get into that business. Just listen and learn. Study off of YouTube. Study off of somebody that's doing it their own way, like Russ. And then and it gets to the time where you can just go on YouTube. You don't even have to have them talking to them. It's on YouTube how he did it. He cor different different um, platform where you can put your music and you get your 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 residuals and stuff like that. You don't want to get robbed. You don't have to get robbed these days no more. There's so much money out there. You don't have to get robbed. That's why when you when you see these Instagram um, uh, create creators, that's why people get mad at them because they, they found their own niche and they found their own way and they're doing it. So thank you for watching my video. Peace.